Alright guys, good morning and uh, welcome to your unique devotion for the day. So today, uh, we're still in 1 Timothy. Uh, I'm going to read chapter 3. Um, today's what I call an ingestion day. Just relax and sort of take in what's happening, take in the words a little bit, and then uh, tomorrow we'll go back and do a breakdown section to section as our daily devotions and um, really try to see what God is pulling out for us to think about today in the form of a God question. So, today, 1 Timothy, uh, chapter 3, if you've got your listening ears, I'll get started. This is a faithful saying. If a man desires the position of a bishop, he desires a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, temperate, sober-minded, of good behavior, hospitable, able to teach, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not covetous, one who rules his own house well, having his children in submission with all reverence. For if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how will he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being puffed up with pride, he fall into the same condemnation as the devil. Moreover, he must have a good testimony among those who are outside, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Likewise, deacons must be reverent, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy for money, holding the mystery of the faith with a pure conscience. But let these also first be tested, then let them serve as deacons, being found blameless. Likewise, their wives must be reverent, not slanders, temperate, faithful in all things. Let deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruling their children and their own houses well. For those who have served well as deacons obtain for themselves a good standing and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. These things I write to you, though I hope to come to you shortly, but if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Here's some Old Testament. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up, in glory. All right, so uh, there's some there's some good stuff. Uh, a lot more about how people should be in certain positions. <laughs> uh, this is good talk since right now we're talking in the world of in in, in the United States here anyway about the uh, upcoming upcoming choice of presidency. Uh, so there's some things to maybe discuss there. Maybe not. Um, so anyway, that was First Timothy chapter 3. Tomorrow we'll go back, we'll do a little breakdown, look for that God question. And until then, I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.